slide down to the city, what's the vibe? I got a shot of Sashi Mirai My friend of the city, we ain't wasting no time I get it once in a pressing rewind My friend of the spot where no one really came from If I go broke, it's back to the basics So I just received something in the mail Tomo Grip I have never skated in Tomo Grip before So this is gonna be a first for me I have never ordered things online before, like anything skate before. So it's been about five days now since I've had this board. It is ungripped and this is an APB Skate Shop deck. Um, APB Skate Shop is um, a local skate shop down at Aala. I have never skated an APB board, anything. I never bought anything from there before. So what I'm about to do is actually set up this board and um, I'm gonna use everything from this board and put it on there. The thing about this board, the size difference is is an 8 and not 825 and this is an 825 the reason why I switched from an 825 to an 8 is because the reason why I switched from an 825 to an 8 is because I, I want to I'm trying to get into more street and tech and getting a smaller board or just how would just be better um, from what I know which means I have to get used to an 8 but yeah anyway it's time to unbox this and yeah. Oh, oh. oh sticker from Tomo Grip. Um yeah. Um this is actually um an art form collaboration grip tape. I'm not sure. Like I said before, I have never um, had Tomo Grip before. I have never ordered anything from my mind to skate before until now. And yeah. Damn, this shit is sick. As you guys can see, it's the rose, has the art form. The reason why I chose a rose is because I actually like um, the aesthetic of a rose. Yeah. Um, if I were to get tomo grip again i would love to get tomo grip again because i just like the designs that they have they have simple designs but i just really like this, their designs so yeah i'm gonna start gripping this board and yeah i have to rem i have to remember that i have to put it in the right way because i'm gonna grip this now and yeah <laughs> I get a problem with this. Um, I use this skate tool from Spitfire. The one problem about this is that when it comes to the pockets, this part right here touches the grip tip and leaves a line. I mean, it will go away, but it really annoys me. happy with this I really like this now my floor is messy with all this grit on the floor now <laughs> gotta vacuum that up now but I'm gonna take another picture real quick 
Next thing I'm going to do is actually take apart my board, this one, and yeah. to them at Tomo Grip, Tomo Skate, shout out to Tomo and APB Skate Shop for for this. Not saying that they sent this to me, but I bought this, but I'm very happy. Um, I'm definitely going to be sticking with APB. I'm definitely going to be sticking, sticking with Tomo Grip. I won't be skating right now. I will be skating later. So I don't know if I'm going to end the video here. I don't know if it's too long or anything because right now this entire take is 35 minutes long, 36 now. But yeah, I'm going to go skate in a bit because right now it is 12.07. I mean, I will be skating now, but it is really hot outside. And yeah, I'm going to skate this maybe at 4 or 5. Shoots. So it's been about two days, three days since I last did a video. Today is Sunday and the last time I recorded was Friday. So yes, two days. I don't actually have any clips of me riding my new setup right here. Um, I'm actually going to give my thoughts about the board and the grip tape. So when I looked in the box again, I saw this note. It says, Jericho, thanks for your support. Enjoy the grip. Happy face. Love, Tomo. And I actually really enjoy the grip. To be honest like this board right here the grip tape is so rough like it murders my shoe and it murders my shoes really fast and this is actually probably the roughest grip tape i've ever skated in i skated in shake jump before which is like perfect for me because it doesn't murder my shoes as fast and normally not only does the shoe have the material it has to keep the shoe durable but also keep it also comes with a grip tape it can be grippy but the thing I don't like about grip tape is that it merges your shoes. Like, I know that's just a normal thing. Like, I know that's just crazy for me to say that it's... That I do not like it, but that's normal. But what I mean is, I just do not like it when they, like... I just don't like it when shoes just get ripped up and everything really fast. Because normally, shoot, my shoes would normally last almost two weeks without getting a hole. And when it comes to my new shoes, the... The material, it got its first hole in six days. Now, it depends on the shoe quality and the grip tape, but yeah. Anyway, so after skating this board, even though it is smaller, it is slightly more heavier than my 825 board. But for me right now, it doesn't really matter at the moment. And because it's a new board and this board has a lot of razor tail. There is a lot of pop into this tail. Like, talking, I, w I was able to ollie higher than I can on this board. The one thing I did that I didn't do with this board or with any board is actually sanding the entire grip tape. Normally you would, n normally you would sand the sides down just so they don't peel. And some people like to sand just right here because grip thumb, if you guys don't know what grip thumb is, it's like probably the thing I do not like at all because it just hurts my thumb and it stings sometimes like it's when you, you drop your board down and it it's when you drop your board down and like a little bit of your thumb just like slides in the grip tape and it's just so annoying because I do not like it when it stink when it stings and everything at sometimes and I just don't like having my skin to be ripped up now normally if I were to get new grip tip again, I would actually sand. I would sand more over here and actually sand just a little bit right here. Just to keep it less grippy but still grippy at the same time. 
But I also sanded the whole board down, so it's not as rough. But just my preference. So that's probably what I'm gonna do from now on. Now, grip tip wise, I don't even know what to really say, but I actually will stick with Tomo Grip, even though it is like, even though it is eighteen dollars, seventeen dollars, or a little bit more than that. I really like Tomo Grip, to be honest. Like this is the first time I've skated in Tomo Grip, and I really like. I just like the designs that Tomo has. And next board I'll get is probably gonna be the exact same setup just with the different grip tape. Yeah. Actually I would I would go for another rose grip tape, but just without the art form in it, I'll just have Tomo on it. When it comes to actually doing my tricks, I did say that I would get a smaller board just so I could do some more street and try to get into tech. I kinda had a hard time doing my tricks on this board. Like, when it comes to flip tricks, I'm able to do it, but when it comes to heel flips, um, I to, took me a little while to do it, but I got down. So if I were to do the three heel flips in a row, which will come up soon at some point, I don't know when, um, it's probably going to be hard because of this board. I haven't really done any board slides with this board yet, so I don't really know how, how long this board will last, but if this ever snaps, then it's just going to hurt me a lot because... My mom ain't gonna buy me another board. The one thing that really is pain that's really painful when I get new boards is when I do a like a flip trick and it lands like that and I land straight onto the board and it just like peels a little bit of the grip tape as you guys can see. And it just like hurts me a little bit because like it's a new board and I want it to be fresh for a little bit until I actually start to do things. And yeah, but there's nothing much to say, but it's really nice having a new board, to be honest with you guys. like It's like so nice to have a new board, but when I get into more skate, like more jumping down things, I'm probably going to try getting myself a sponsor, not just from a company, okay? Like, I want to be like in-shop flow, in-shop flow skater, as in like sponsored by a skate shop. So the skate shop I want to be sponsored by is of course APB Skate Shop. It's my local skate shop in Aala Park, Chinatown. And yeah, I did I never really bought anything from there before. Just some wax and I have a friend that bought a case over there with a the fish eye lens. I think I'm just gonna stick with APB from now on, if anything. Like I would just I would take the bus to go to Chinatown when I need something when I need a new setup. It's gonna be pricey but yeah, it is what it is. It wasn't really any skating in this video, I'm sorry guys, but I haven't even vlogged in two weeks and yeah. Anyway, that is it guys. The only skating that was actually in this video was the beginning because that's an edit. But anyway, so thank you guys for watching guys. So, make sure to subscribe, turn post notifications on in case I post a new upload because I don't actually really have a schedule. Normally, YouTubers would have a schedule, like, they would do a video every once a week. But with me, I just do it when I want to. So, yeah, turn those post notifications on, if anything. Subscribe. Like the video. Comment what I should do next. Like, any trick challenges. Or, if you actually live on the island of Oahu, tell me some skate spots. Tell me the location of these skate spots, and I'll go to them. Like, after qu once quarantine is over, I will try to go to as many skate spots as possible. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, everything I said already. So, yeah. Shoots.